Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Uh, so yeah, The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift is directed by Justin Lin, written by Chris Morgan, based on characters by Gary Scott Thomas, produced by Neil H. Moritz, cinematography from Stephen F. Wind, uh, edited by Kelly Musumoto, Dallas Butte, and Fred Raskin, Music by Brian Tyler, production companies from Universal Pictures and uh, Relative uh, Media. It's distributed by Universal, it released in New Zealand on the 15th of June 2006. Uh, in New Zealand and in the US, it released on the 4th of June 2006. The runtime of this movie is 104 minutes, so that is 1 hour and 44 minutes. The rating of this movie in New Zealand, it is rated an M. In the US, it is also rated an M. Or at PG-13. The genre is an action, drama, adventure, crime film, thriller, and crime fiction. Plot. Sean Boswell, played by Lucas Black, always feels like an outsider. But he defines himself through his vi uh, victories as a street racer. His hobby makes him unpopular with the authorities, so he goes to live with his father in Japan. Once there and even more alienated, he learns about an exciting he learns about an exciting but dangerous new style of sport. The stakes are high when Sean takes on the local champion and falls for the man's girlfriend. The cast we have Lucas Black as Sean Boswell, uh, Bow Wow as Twinkie. Sung Kang as Han Lu, uh, Brian T as Takashi, uh, Nathalie, Nath Nathalie, Nathalie Kelly as Neela, uh, Leonardo Nam as Morimoto, and Brian Goodman as uh, Major Boswell. Development. Writer Chris Morgan was a fan of the series, and the producers had an open writing call for their third film. Morgan originally pitched Dominic Toretto in Tokyo learning to drift and solving a murder. New H. Moritz, who, uh, New H. Moritz, who had produced the previous two installments, began working on the film in 2005. On June 8, 2005, Moritz hired Justin Lin to direct the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Lin, who wasn't intimately, in, intimately fair with drifting when he was approached to helm the project recalled. I was in film school when the Fast and the Furious came out, and I saw it along with the sold out crowd who just ate it all up. What really excited me about directing this film was the chance to harness that energy, create a whole new chapter and and up the ante by bringing something new to the table for the audience who loves action and speed. Lynn was not uh Authistic, and sorry, enthusiastic at first, and was unimpressed by earlier drafts of the script, saying, I think it's offensive and dated, and I don't want any attention on doing it. The producers allowed him to develop the film in his own way, although it was constant, it was a constant challenge, and he was, uh, he was always battling the studio to make the film better. He said to the credit, uh, they were very fair and reasonable. Critical response. The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift gained a 38% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes based on reviews from 138 critics. The average rating is a 5 out of 10. Besides consensus reads, eye-popping driving sequences coupled with a limp story and flat performances make this drift a disappointing follow-up to the previous Fast and Furious installments. On Metacritic, the film has an awaited average score of 46 out of 100, based on reviews from 31 critics, indicating mixed or average reviews. Audiences surveyed by a cinema score gave the film an A- on an A+, plus to an F scale. Thoughts? I think Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift was a good movie. I just thought it was one of the worst in the franchise when I watched it in 2021. But now, uh, I really like it. I like how it went out of the actual world with Dom and moved to the new uh, to new characters. I did like that, and it worked well. I liked much of the characters in this movie. The car races were enjoyable, and yeah, that's really about it for me. Been disappointing. I think that some of the characters 
were lacking the story for me and didn't really need to have a big storyline in this movie for the side characters. I also think that some of the action sequences were a bit off in some points of the movie, and yeah, that's really about it for me. Our final thoughts, this was a good movie. I like some characters in this movie, but moving to different characters... Uh, some characters in this movie, but moving to different characters. But there were some bad things about this movie for me. Uh, unfortunately, I would recommend you checking this movie out, because it is a good movie. I knew that's really about it. Uh, score for me, it's a 3 out of 5. Uh, percentage, I'll give it a 65%. Uh, grade, I'll give it a C-. minus, And out of 10, is a 6.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned for the more Fast and Furious movie reviews coming out. And yeah, thank you for watching. Take care.